This is Da Vinci's helicopter. It is a wooden puzzle. Uh, let's see, it's got a big X going through a wooden frame, and we have to figure out how to get the X out of the wooden frame. So, uh, I can see that the X is made of two different wooden pieces. You can see this piece is connected there. Uh, this other piece is connected there. The wooden frame, uh, this seems to be just one piece. And at first, this looks impossible because these two wooden pieces, the two straight bars, they do not want to come apart. So we are going to solve this now, even though it looks hard. Right now I'm looking through the spaces in those bars to see if I can notice anything odd. And I do notice that there is a shiny piece of metal between these bars. Uh, this makes me think that these two pieces of wood are not just uh, pieces of wood. These are actually frames with something uh, inside of them. You can see this is actually made of uh, two pieces of wood here. We can see the difference in the wood grain. It's less apparent there, but on the edge, there you can really start to see the two different wood grains. And from that, you can tell it's two pieces fused together. Uh, it could be hollow or something going on on the inside. Now, when you shake it, all I'm really hearing is that extra frame. But if I lock the frame to the other pieces, we'll see if we can hear anything when we shake it. Yeah, I hear the difference. So that's the sound of the frame, but listen to this. So something is going on inside of these pieces of wood, and we just have to figure out what it is and how to undo it. Uh, the first thing we're gonna try is if I tap there, that doesn't do anything. Tap there, now, tap there, and tap there. That didn't do anything, but if there was some pin that needed to be dislodged, that might have dislodged the pin. We can also try that way, tapping on this side, also tapping on this side, and it is looking tricky. Now these puzzle boxes here, let's see, uh, this tells us it's a difficulty rating of three out of five. Can you take the helicopter apart? When solved, the puzzle will be in three separate pieces. The solution can be, well, we're not gonna look at the solution, but we see it is uh, either inspired by Da Vinci or from Da Vinci. And it's called a helicopter puzzle. Let's think, because these look like the blades of the helicopter. Sometimes the names of puzzles actually give you hints on how to solve them. But here, I think it's just telling us that that looks like a helicopter. We'll look at the frame a little more carefully. Could be a situation where if we can get the frame off of here, then the pieces might separate in a way that we can't quite imagine. So this frame, it definitely can't come out, but I'll see if it can twist out. I'm checking to make sure that these pieces of wood are really fused together. I'm looking for any sort of panels that would slide. I'm not finding it on the frame. So maybe our best bet will be investigating these two pieces a little more because we see that they're gonna have to come out. And really, even if this frame was gone, these two wooden pieces, the straight pieces, are stuck together. So we tried tapping the pieces. We can try twisting them. We'll try twisting this way. We'll also check for sliding panels. You know, when you first see a block of wood, if you've never done puzzles before, you start thinking, well, what can I do with this? It's just a block of wood. But you don't realize there's so many different things that can be done to a block of wood. There could be a secret area where you push it, or there could be a panel that gets slid. Here we see it's actually two pieces of wood that are fused together. When I started doing puzzles, I wouldn't even know to look for imperfections like that. I would just think, well, it's a block of wood. Let's see. Now you hear that? I twist that, and there's something, there's another piece of wood, that sounds like wood hitting wood in there. It's almost like this piece of wood or this piece of wood are hollow, and there's some wood piece that's floating in there, but if I was to tap it there, which I did, that would make the wood piece go to one side or the other, and that was not enough to open this up. So what is the thing we do 
And which way do we want these pieces of wood inside of that piece of wood? Hear that? That is not these three pieces. I'm holding these pieces completely stable. That's something inside of there. Let's see, maybe if we twist it like a helicopter, maybe they'll separate. No, that didn't work. I thought maybe because it was called a helicopter, if you make it like a helicopter and twist it. No, but that's not working. Uh, I guess we could try on the other side here. No, that's not working either. Hmm. I think if we just, if we knew which of the pieces of the wood had the hollow thing in it, then we would know which one we have to do something to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to shake side to side this way. And if I hear a noise, that'll tell me it's in this one. All right, so it's definitely in this piece, because if we shake this one, but it sounds like there's something in there too. Yeah. When I shake that way, that's pretty loud. Shake that way. So I think there's secrets in both of the wooden pieces. We have to do something to both of them. It's like we have to tap both at once. So if we tap that, does that open? No. Hmm. Well, I tried the spinning and I didn't do it. And I tried spinning the other side. Oh, okay. I think I know what's happening here. Oh, okay. Let, let's see if this theories work. Let me put these pieces back. Okay, that would explain why it worked this time, but not the other time. So let's see, we turn this, and then if I turn it like that and spin here, that's the solution. And that slides up here. Okay, let me explain what I think is happening here. Yeah, that would explain these. So, got it. So uh, each of these pieces is probably the same. Yeah, see each piece is a hole and this pin goes through that hole. This pin goes through that hole when the pieces are put together. Right? But if you hold it this way, the pin comes out of that way. Let's see if this works when I put it down the other way. A new pin takes its place. So that's why the tapping was not working, right? But when you spin it, then because of the centripetal force, both pieces go out to the outside. So this is closed whichever way you flip it, but you use centripetal force, that up opens up both these pieces. Now the first time that I was trying to spin, oh, see it closed up again. Why isn't that going in there? Wow, it's so exact. So the first time, I think what happened was I spun it the one way, which opened up one pin, but then when I was turning it over, I didn't turn it over any special way. So if you spin it one way, you spin it like this, well then it did open. Maybe I didn't lock it in. Let's see. We lock it in. Okay, so this gets locked in. Now if we just spin, lift, that's no good. And now if you shake it first, then spin, that's no good. So what you have to do is spin it and then turn it over in a way that doesn't disturb the first pins that you got out. And then, does that not work? There we go, that does it. That is a cool puzzle.